What the hell is going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle to decide the age-old question been asked for thousands of years, millions even. Should you spend stones or skip on physical Goten and Trunks? To answer that question, I'm going to be engaging in a bare-fisted fight <laughs> with Tiger <laughs> Uppercut Media. What's going on, man? Uh, sounds good, man. I'm uh, glad to be here again. Thanks for having me. And should be fun. <laughs> so I was telling Tiger earlier that uh, I don't know how he feels about mm -hmm. this banner. Because there's a lot to talk about on this banner. Um, so first up, I have the Japanese banner pulled up. And you see Frieza in the top left corner. He is gone because he was just gone. on a recent banner. And yep. uh, I'm heading over to Kawhi's Twitter who added... Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on there. Uh, what do you think about that swap? Uh, it's what I expected, man. Honestly, I uh, made my own like pass or pull video, which is kind of the same thing, right? Everybody yeah. has their own different name, but 100%. Uh, I made that a couple days ago, and that was before they had that weird global database leak, right? Where mm -hmm. we found out about the banner. And in the video, I literally said, like, if they're going to replace Frieza, which they probably will, it's probably Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So I want to give myself a little bit of a, you know, pat on the back for that because I called it. I'm going to and... keep it a buck. That's actually five head thinking because I was <laughs> on the camp that there was no way <laughs> that Gogeta was going to be on the banner. And I was, the, my justification for it was how poorly Global has been treating its, its player mm. base since the beginning of, uh, or the end of 2020, matter of fact. That I was yep. like, it's going to be AGL Bardock, or it's going to be in transforming Gohan, or someone like that. So no, the that's... fact that they threw Gogeta at us? Uh, all right. It's, it's not a bad point. It's not a bad point. I think that's fair. But um, my thinking was that they want to make this banner as trappy as possible, if you will, right? Because mm -hmm. we got the anniversary coming. Everybody knows about it. They want, to, they want to make it as baity as possible, as, as hard to skip as possible, and yep. throwing Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on there definitely gets the job done, right? Yeah. So I think, well, Beerus was the, the bait banner before the five-year anniversary, and I'm pretty sure yeah. that was like, uh, that was step-ups, if I remember correctly. And I believe so. I believe so. And also we had, uh, I think Kefla's banner was, or was it not? I forgot. But I don't remember. I'm a boomer, way. brother. My memory is terrible. <laughs> Usually, usually before like big celebrations, they'll give us these like uh, step ups, right, to make it more enticing. And speaking of the step ups, um, before we get to the actual units themselves, uh, I'm jumping over to Hydros's Twitter. Hydros plays, uh, mm -hmm. and he talks about how step one, two, and three are discounted. So it's going to be twenty five dragon stones, thirty dragon stones, and forty dragon stones, or twenty five, thirty five, forty. I think whatever equates a hundred. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, which is interesting because they've been doing the 110 recently. Uh, so you're going to be saving 10 stones, which is not a bad thing. And the craziest thing is that step three is going to be guaranteed featured. And now, just to be clear, yep. sure, the first two steps are not full multis, though. Not I think true. it's get like one or two extra characters, but it's not going to be like a full 10 unit multi. Yeah. But uh, the main reason you want to do those is obviously to get to that third step. With a guaranteed feature. Well, it would be like five, seven, and then ten, probably. Probably something like that. Yeah, I think it's going to be like one extra unit than you would have got with like that amount of stones. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, so that does add a bit of value to mm -hmm. this banner. Uh, I mean, a, a bit of value. That adds a lot of value. I mean, fact. if you if you take a look, right, there are only one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's there's eight featured SSRs. So, you know, you do that last step, you have a 1 in 8 chance of pulling Goten and Trunks. And you also have a 1 in 8, one in eight chance of pulling the LR Gobros. Yep. And Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, obviously. So, yeah, that guaranteed step is is pretty key. Agreed. Uh, so, let's uh, talk about some of the characters on here. Uh, eight characters starting at the very end. And what's funny is... To me, this banner um, only has one character rainbowed. 
um for you okay yeah which is crazy because that's uh, that a strength boost Oh, boot. I was gonna say Super Saiyan three go tanks. You would think. I, mine's yeah. is only at sixty nine percent, which is crazy. You only have one dupe in tech Super only Saiyan three go tanks. One dupe, and so I'll tell you an even funnier thing. Super Saiyan four <laughs> Goku, I had uh -huh. him at only seventy nine percent, and I legit used red wow. coins for my final two copies. <laughs> wow. On this recent, like right now, the fact that he's in the coin shop, I, yeah. I freaking now. Uh, Super, uh, I gotta tell you a story about Super Saiyan 4 Strength Goku. When he mm -hmm. first came out, I pulled Vegeta in 150 stones. Nice. I spent 1,500 stones for Strength Goku on his banner, and I never pulled him. And it took yeah, like... It, it seems to always go that way. Like yeah, one bad. Bro, so I got better. so and that was like in the beginning of my well, not the beginning. That was the two-year anniversary. Yeah, yeah, the beginning because I've been playing for like maybe six, seven months at that point. Uh, okay. like eight months maybe and so that was the biggest shafting i've ever gotten uh mm -hmm. up until that point right it wasn't even close and i was just like oh my god uh but yeah so super saiyan 3 tech uh go tanks um if i get so the problem is like we are completionist we love rainbowing units of course we, we like getting that 100 percent, and you know the but, rainbow star yeah with that said yes it would feel good to get copies of him so i could 100 percent him but he is not really that good because he no. was one of the early Extreme Z Awakens. Yeah. It happened in June of 2019. That's almost two years ago. That's almost exactly two years ago. Yeah, no, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks uh, definitely has aged kind of poorly just because of the defense. His damage is okay still, but it's his defense that really lacks. And obviously, we're going to get the Super Saiyan 3 Fizz Go Tanks ZA soon. So it's there's just no better. reason to run him yeah there's no, no reason, reason to run him yeah. no reason at all so that's kind of a dud uh even if you need him like to rainbow him and all that stuff it's a dud if you get it uh it just kind of sucks unless if he gets an e e z a <laughs> an extreme <laughs> extreme z awakening uh maybe next, one day yeah maybe one day in seven year anniversary uh next up one of my favorite cards in the game and uh, a card that mr baby hates with a passion strength <laughs> super boo transformation boo what are your uh, favorite? I actually like this card. <laughs> so this is the reason why I like him. Before I hated him, I thought he was trash. Mm -hmm. When physical LR boot tanks came out, immediately it elevated this man to great levels. I've taken him with physical boot boot tanks uh, and then transformed him into Buhan, where they're both Buhan, into extremely difficult events. And Buhan holds his own. His defense will get to like 220,000. He's mm -hmm. doing three, four, five million attack stats. If you got like a, uh, a, a what's it called? A good support on rotation. I have mine's level 10 links, uh, rainbowed, baby. Like, <laughs> okay, that, that, that's the difference right there. <laughs> he ain't that bad. He ain't that bad. People sleep the on him. Right there. <laughs> I, I think if you have him rainbowed, max links. You know, like in, on the right team, right? Like linked up with uh, boot tanks and with the support. Yeah, he's gonna be pretty impressive. But um, he's trash if he's not if he's not next, next to boot tanks. Like he's actually yes. garbage. <laughs> and also, he's actually not good if you don't get the Buhan transformation. If you get true, you know, Piccolo, um, Bu Piccolo or boot tanks. What's fascinating is I actually like the passives for the other ones. I like the passives for the Boo Piccolo and the Boo Go Tanks more than I like for Buhan because for Buhan it's literally just 120% across the board. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that really helps him is his super attack. He greatly raises attack and defense. But like the yep. Boo Tanks, he's giving. Um, well, the Boo Tanks actually sucks. Never mind. It's the Boo. The oh, well, he seals <laughs> the Boo Tanks. Uh, the Boo Tanks seals. That's that's what I remember that he does well. But the Boo Piccolo. Piccolo yeah, he, right. he they all heal, but the boo uh the boo piccolo is a support, three key and thirty percent defense to all allies. Mm -hmm. Um and he greatly raises his defense, which is not bad at all. Uh but yeah, so this guy, I mean it's it's kind of a meme for me, uh <laughs> in, in terms of how much I'm boosting him. But he's uh <laughs> amazing, but he's not bad. Yeah, not bad. he has to be on that team that modern power power absorption whatever team next to yeah. tanks to to show to show his stuff uh so this sure. is a dud as well for most people uh yeah i would say so i mean yeah. you you wouldn't be very excited if you pulled him no Let's just go with that yeah yeah <laughs> definitely not uh but you don't have him rainbowed 
I do. I do. He's oh, okay, rainbowed. Okay, okay, okay. Links are probably like level one or two. Come on, I don't have really level ten links. <laughs> Get them all up there. It's a pain though because they all have different links. They all change two links. Every right, form. right, yeah. So to get this guy maxed out, it's like it's, it's like maxing out two units. Dude, essentially. it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so next up, LR Gobros. Um, I still love this card, and very, need, very powerful card. I need still. one copy left to mm -hmm. Rainbow, so I'm looking forward to getting that last I copy. I think I'm in the same boat. I think I'm in the same boat. I do feel like it, it's kind of weird how for a Dokkan Fest LR they seem to throw like this unit on a lot of banners. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, I think at this point people are a little bit tired of seeing them featured so much. But Great. if you don't have them, still such a powerful unit. Yeah, you and know? I don't know. I guess like when they first came out, they seemed weird, and so that's why a lot of people underestimated them. But then after like they were utilized, because there's some cards where you look at their stats, and you either overhype them or you you know. Um, you either overrate underrate or underrate. And yeah. so this was a card where you looked at the stats and you're kind of like, eh. But then when they're in practice, you're like, these dudes just do too much damage. They hit so hard, yeah. It's they do too much damage. There was that um, that video for a while where uh, they did the um, Legendary Goku event in under six minutes, which was insane <laughs> because of the amount of crits that they have. Yeah. Um, so I think they're still extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. Um Maybe on global, I'd say they're they're still top ten. On JP, maybe not at this point, just because there's so many damn good LRs. But yeah, I, I still love the GoBros. I do too. Yeah, no, they're extremely good. Um, one thing I would say, maybe the defense is not like amazing. I mean, how how much what they get maxed out like 200k or so? Yeah, they actually get a 216 percent bonus attack and defense when they're uh, when they do ten attacks. So how much a defense stat would they have when maxed out? I'd probably out? get them close to 200k, I think. Okay, yeah. So good, but obviously like not amazing. Yeah. But but, but good, right? So, yeah. um, yeah, like defense, you might have to be a little bit careful on those later stages, especially against like the you know the in Super Saiyan 4 Goku or the UI Goku, obviously. Mm -hmm. Or the, but, the uh, strength Goku that was kicking your yeah. ass. And freaking... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, you mean the uh. The, the giant ape oh my god yeah. <laughs> yeah that guy just hits way too hard yeah it's but um yeah their their offense really makes up for any defensive shortcomings like they just they hit so hard later on 100%. in events yeah and yeah. their their active skill isn't that terrible under 60 percent, 59 percent facing nope, one enemy all right moving to the next unit tech uh majin boo the exchange boo um, I think people kind of parroted this quite a bit that they're probably the worst Dokkan Fist to UR that's come out uh, in a mm. while now. What are, you, what are your I feelings think, on that? I think he's underrated. I think he's underrated. Because he... <sighs> go ahead. The floor is yours. Talon mm. feels the same way, by the way. But go ahead. Yeah, so what I would say is his damage is not amazing. He doesn't hit super hard. But he does enough damage. You know, like, yeah, I'm getting mine until you get like, you know, three plus million attacks that um, as Super Boo and then 50 percent damage reduction is a lot. You know, like that's 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 quite a bit of damage reduction. He is actually a really good tank. And I guess the main issue is just like with the Super Saiyan 3 Go tanks, like the int one we're about to talk about. It takes a long time to get the final transformation. Yeah. That's the main thing. But on longer events, you're always going to get it. On LGE, on uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History, you're always going to get that transformation eventually. So I guess it depends on the event, right? It depends on if you're if you're doing, you know, like a shorter, like Dokkan event or if you're doing a longer event. But for longer events, very, very good. And also, one thing I want to mention is if people are struggling with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta Extreme Z battle, this guy is the best leader right now for artificial life forms right true so if you don't have him and you've been struggling with that event then getting him would actually be very key for you to be yeah. able to clear that event a uh, great point um mm -hmm. i think my thoughts and i'll just be quick on tech uh tech boo i think form the second form and the third form are phenomenal cards Mm -hmm. uh, I think the first form is probably if if you just went into an event that's only going to be about three turns, 
then yeah. the tech Majin, that that form of tech Majin Buu would be the worst Dokkan Fest uh, that's come out for a long time because it's well, just it, so it, boring. It, it, if it was just that and he didn't transform, then yes. Bro, it's just like, oh my, 40% damage reduction is not that much uh, when your base stats are not like really high. Uh, yeah, I and really, he doesn't get any really, go ahead, defense go. on top of that, right? Yeah, He's not getting yeah, like, uh, even like a 50, 100% defense boost. So. Exactly. That, that's a big problem. But once you mm -hmm. get to the second form, the second form, in my opinion, is solid, even though it stays at 40%, but he just does so much at that point. You have a 50% chance to stun. You're guaranteed to seal. You're doing a lot of damage. You're dodging. You're giving yourself key. Like at that point, it's just like, all right, this card is good. And then obviously, mm -hmm. Super Boo is fantastic. But um, again, yep. those first three turns are just like, oh my god, it's such a chore to yep. uh, to to use that unit. Um, in Go Tanks, to me, is somewhat similar, not as bad for the first three turns because he does give himself that hundred percent defense, and he's greatly raising his defense on his Super, yep. which is great. Uh, yep. But what a snooze fest for the first three turns. Like, there's nothing interesting. Um, yeah. Just kind of sits there and is just really boring. Uh, when he turns Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 3, I like this type of RNG. I hated the old LR Goten and Trunks and, like, the, the pre-EZA physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks where it's just like... You, you got to do exactly 11 key or you got to do less than 11 key and you could do this or you only have a 30% chance to get a, you know, a massively raises or whatever. This mm -hmm. is RNG, but it's only positive RNG. So it's 50% chance to get 50% attack, 50% chance to get another 50% attack, 50% chance to get 50%. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just like yeah. RNG on top of RNG, but it's all positive. There's nothing negative about it, which is like, thank you for building. That's true. Way. That's true. I do, I do think he's um great for super battle road as well because uh of the raising defense he can he can stun as well. Oh, seventy percent chance of stun. Really, yeah, which is really really useful. And uh, you know when you get that super saiyan three go tanks he hits stupid hard man. Mm -hmm. Super saiyan three go tanks can do a lot of damage. A lot so, of damage. Yeah. Um, and he's a mini really, stacker, greatly raising attack and defense for three turns. That's true. That's true. Which yeah. So just really really good unit overall I think. Um. I think one thing that a lot of people got stuck on with these two is just how long it takes to reach yeah. the final form. But even just having Super Saiyan Gotenks is it's a really good unit. Yeah. So Super Saiyan Gotenks and the second form uh, and the Evil Boo are really solid cards. Exactly. So I, I like both of them. And uh, I need dupes for at least Gotenks for sure. So Same here. Looking yeah. forward to getting a few more of those for sure. I need dupes for the both of them. Uh, next up, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So... A lot of people rate this guy as potentially the best TUR in the game, not including so. easy A's. I don't uh, think so. Where do you where do you sit on him? Uh at this point, maybe top five. Mm -hmm. Maybe top five. Um I haven't really thought about my TUR rankings in a long time, but I would probably put Fizz. Honestly, I would probably put put Golden Frieza, Fizz Golden Tr Frieza, over Super Saiyan th uh, for Go Tanks. Oh, well, you watch my and tier then... list. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Hopefully, you left a like. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Tech Ultimate Gohan, I would put above him. Um, uh, the 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 new GT Vegeta and GT, um, Goku, I think, have a case as well mm. to to be better than than Gogeta. And Videl, obviously, the new Gohan. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> so so I think he's probably like top five, low top five or top 10, right? Like somewhere around there. Um, I don't think he's the best, though. I, I don't agree with you 100%. Um, yeah. I honestly think on global right now that physical transforming Frieza is the best in the game because he just does too much like i love the versatility man i feel like four people were tasked to build a physical transforming frieza card and they weren't told that they're working on it and then the producer just like the developer just took all four of their ideas and just put it into one card mash them together uh, yeah it's insane <laughs> but the gogeta this gogeta is really really great but he's another character where if you look at his stats you think like oh my god this is the best character in the game 200 mm -hmm. percent attack and defense that's absolutely insane additional 40 percent attack and defense that's incredible attacks effective against all types that's amazing and it is but 
numbers can lie and they can be deceiving. And so that 200% plus the 40%, which puts them at like uh, 280% or something like that, uh, yeah. 320%, I'm sorry, um, is really, really high. But what ends up happening is if he's going up against type disadvantage, he can still get blasted even with those numbers like i've seen him in sbr and mine's is 55 percent. so maybe i have to get him at 100 percent to really showcase him but i've seen him take a lot of damage like surprisingly mm -hmm. uh, a great amount of damage and to me frieza the only time he's gonna get take a lot of damage is that first hit because after that he in is the very fine. beginning because he's stacking really fast yeah and he has to get he has to get hit to gain that that bonus for a few turns uh, but like he just and again this guy is great but another thing that drives me nuts is i don't like units that have to get hit multiple times for something to happen yeah if, if it's only one hit okay i'm okay with that but this dude has to get hit four times so that's really rng heavy you can either have him get that on turn three because turn one he gets hit three times and then turn three he gets hit another time or you can get that turn 11 because you just you're either killing the enemy too fast or like you're dodging because he's also got a chance to dodge like yeah and that doesn't so, count i agree with that for sure um i don't love his active skill condition i don't think anybody really likes the whole taking x amount of hits mm -hmm. to like activate something um with that said yes he does hit very hard he does a lot of damage a lot of damage the counter is very clutch the super attack counter and uh, his defense is is going to be quite good against um, most. His defense is great. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Against most, but in the longer events, he does lose a part of his passive, which is yeah, kind of annoying. And he also doesn't get guaranteed effective against all anymore, right? After yeah. turn eight, I believe mm -hmm. he loses that, and he has like a high chance or something like yeah, that. Yeah, high chance of dodging the super attack. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, um, he's great. He's great. And he's I need great. And I need dupes. I I do think because he's super saiyan for Gogeta, he might be you know viewed like more yeah a little hyped in a brighter brighter light you know that like uh, most maybe other characters agreed uh he is still very good and and i i still love him but we're about to get I, flamed I, like crazy you no know, we just got to cover our bases here right? <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah we gotta it's a it's a compliment sandwich <laughs> yeah yeah so you know? so he's amazing but but not the best definitely top 10 maybe top five um but still I i'm glad that we're getting him back because he yeah he's the first time right it's the first That's time he's back for global 100 percent. absolutely, absolutely. Global. next up for global frontline courage krillin coming into the game um this dude is absolutely insane for this particular team <laughs> yeah yeah he's, he's fantastic man. he's a little wacky like uh in case people if, if you guys are global mains and you don't really know what this krillin does he's raising his defense for one turn which is not crazy it's a 30 percent increase but still it's something starts with 120 percent attack and defense gives super class allies two key and 30 percent attack and defense typically that would be the that's where the passive ends for most you know banner cards I, you know I what guards, i mean like yeah. <laughs> that's it right but no yeah. This dude also gives an additional two key and 30% attack and defense for super class allies, an additional 120% attack and reduces damage received by 30% when there's an ally named Trunks Kid or Gotenks Kid attacking the same turn, plus an additional damage reduction of 10% and super class allies chance of farming a crit 10% when there's a movie boss category enemy. Uh, and I'm just going to quickly show the movie boss enemies here. It's, it's a decent list. Like, it's not a small category. No. So, yeah, Krillin. <laughs> Krillin is uh, is great. Pretty strong. <laughs> but, I, mean, I mean, he's getting a ton of attack, uh, great damage reduction, and uh, one of the best super supports in the game, yeah. right? I mean, he plus four and attack and defense plus 60%. And very rare <laughs> are support cards giving crit. He's one of them. Yeah, 10% crit, and he can give himself up to 40% damage reduction, which means that, and you know, if you factor in the raising defense and then the 120% defense, he's going to be extremely tanky. Yep. Extremely tanky against the uh, movie bosses. So, so yeah, uh, big fan of this Krillin. And the best fan. thing about this Krillin is that he can be on the Goten and Trunks team to activate their passive, and he doesn't yep. have to be in the rotation. He just has to be in the team. So let's go over yeah. the physical Super Saiyan kid. Uh, Trunks and uh, Goten. And um, 
the category is not bad. Gift of Warriors and Kamehameha. So we got another Kamehameha lead, which is great. Um, this dude, again, uh, or these two, very, very strong. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and this is kind of like the summer of Dokkan where, uh, or the year, the 2021 has just been, let's pump out just the most powerful characters we can think of. Uh, yeah. You know, 30% attack increase on the 12 key, 50% attack increase on the unit super attack, um, immense damage, and allies are going to gain 30% attack boost. And it's all allies. It's not just super allies, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, and you just need to have um, Krillin on the team or Goten, a kid Goten or kid Trunks on the same rotation, which you probably will. Uh, passive skill. Let me just go through this real fast because he's got a lot of stuff. 150% attack and defense when doing a super attack. Only problem I have with that is if he gets hit before he attacks, he's going to take a lot of damage. Uh, yes, seven, they're a spot two unit. Yeah, uh, and that's 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 usually when I'll like knock a point or two off of a character just because that's that's a liability. 70% uh, yep. chance of them gaining an additional 50% attack and defense, so they kind of have that Super Saiyan 3 thing where RNG is built into the kit. 50 or 70% chance of an additional attack and defense, 50%. One key up to three plus an additional attack and defense 10% up to 50% and chance of dodging 7% uh, up to 30% with each attack evaded, including super attacks. And then their active skill, um, they need to have a kid trunks or kid go 10 attacking the same turn. Three turns have to pass by. They will give themselves six key and guaranteed dodge for one turn. I just felt like I read a novel. <laughs> that was a lot, man. <laughs> so, pretty strong. <laughs> very, very strong. No, not pretty strong. Um, you know, if you look at the calculations uh, on look at the Dokkan, numbers. Run the, the numbers. Dokkan Wiki. Yeah, run the numbers. If you have all the additional attack and defense boosts of 50% activated, then they are getting 400% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Just take that in. 400% attack and defense. Yeah. And then if you pop that active skill on, you know, a good turn where you have a lot of attacks incoming and you're able to dodge five attacks, which, uh, you know, for super bad road is not unreasonable, right? Yeah. Then you're getting up to 500% <laughs> attack and defense. So silly. After evading five attacks. Yeah. 500 percent that crap is just silly <laughs> yeah yeah and then on top of that of course you're greatly raising attack with the unit super attack okay you're raising another 30 percent for the rotation including themselves mm. right and that's just more damage right there i mean <laughs> they're, they're gonna really... hit really really hard and the defense is gonna be it's gonna be there as well yeah these dudes are um I mean, meta breaking is, you know, you start getting into that conversation because uh, just the amount of damage and defense that they can pump out is really, really powerful. Uh, so with that said, um, I'd love to hear your opinion on whether you should spend stones or skip on this banner. Um, here's the thing. Uh, context is important. Context right? is king. Yep. And... Get, if it was a normal time of the year, you know, let's say if it was like February or something, right, for global, where like not much is going on, there's not really anything too crazy happening, or if it's like uh, October, you know, after like the major celebrations have gone by, I would say drop a decent amount on this banner because it's actually a really good banner. Um, for, mm. for like a regular Dokkan Fest, Agreed. in my opinion. And uh, the new units, both the Krillin and the uh, Goten and Trunks are fantastic, right? But, but the anniversary is yeah. a month away. Yep. A month away. And I mean, you should be saving for the anniversary. So what I'm going to say is pretty much what I said in... Uh, my own video, which uh, is to do the discounts, do your three, like uh, three steps, get your guaranteed featured unit on step three, and then call it a day. That's what I would do. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna do that for myself, but. 
um I, I think the average player especially if you're free to play especially if you want and you like goku and super saiyan blue evolution vegeta which i think most people do i think most yeah. people are looking forward to those lrs so uh I, I think you should do those three steps and just, just keep saving for the anniversary i'm going to uh echo that and say that everyone uh even if you're free to play should be dropping 100 stones on this banner yeah. um because it's that it has that much value and you're guaranteed a featured which is so important but yeah. i mean almost but, any featured you get is going to be good except for super saiyan 3 go tanks <laughs> agreed here's the issue though with this particular banner and why i actually at the moment and settled that i'm not going to go beyond the 100 stones uh, i mm -hmm. probably will end up going beyond it but <laughs> i'm telling myself right now that i'm not going to because if you get go tank uh go ten and trunks or not right yeah exactly <laughs> um with the krillin he's fantastic and yes he makes go ten and trunk other go ten and trunk cards really strong but there's really no other Go Kid Goten and Kid Trunks cards that are as powerful as this duo here. And so I feel like that Krillin would get put to the wayside if you don't pull this physical Goten and Trunks. And at, That's fair. at the same I mean, token, we do, have, we do have the easy A ones. You do have the easy A's, and they're strong. Really powerful. Yeah, 70% yeah, damage reduction. They're great. But the physical Goten and Trunks, <laughs> it's a whole different ballgame. Um, yep. And in the same token, the physical Goten and Trunks are fantastic but they really get boosted up by having this Krillin on the team. And so I feel like it's a banner better for whales to go deep in to get both units, guarantee they get both units, and then they can make that really strong team together, Savior's team or Kamehameha team or whatever you want to do. Um, I think the majority of people should would be better off if they throw 100 stones in here, see if you get lucky, get that guaranteed feature, and then save all your stones for LR UI Goku. Because that AGL LR Master Ultra Instant Goku is so much better, in my opinion, than every card in the game at this point. Like, I'm <laughs> so cracked out on this freaking Goku. Uh, yep. He just starts with 70% dodge, which is, yep. and he just keeps it. Like, that's it's something it. that Strength UI Goku has to go through hell and back to obtain um you know because he's sitting at he's sitting at it in for the just the first seven turns and then he loses it and it drops down to 50 percent. but yep. like that's something that a agl kaylin khalifla have to go through hell and back to obtain because they have to attack 10 million times to be able to get 66 percent dodge so it's <laughs> like everyone has a drawback to that dodge and sitting at 150 percent attack and defense on those lr stats it's like unbelievable and also then built in 50 percent chance to crit <laughs> 50, oh my god it's just like and the revival the revival mechanic is skills, like don't forget about that it's active like, skill. you know <laughs> oh, the, the active skill is insane the revival skill is like whatever because like you barely ever see it but um it's still good just it's kind of like having like five it, dodge it's, it's, it's clutch though it's clutch yeah it's like throwing a I skill think. orb of dodge into a character because when it happens it saves your ass um mm -hmm. You don't really rely on it, but when it does happen, it saves your ass. So, like, he's insane. The Vegeta's really good. I don't think he's on the same level as uh, the LRUI Goku. I don't even know. I don't. I wouldn't even put the Vegeta as the second best LR in the game. I don't think. Maybe I would. I don't know. I, I would have to play with him more. I do think, I do think the Goku is quite a bit better than oh the Vegeta. Oh, my God. That Goku's so dumb, dude. He's just, like, he, he will never cause you to lose. That's the thing with that Goku. He's just not a liability anywhere in any stage. Uh, mm -hmm. in the game he's meta breaking so people should just be saving their stones for that goku and then once you pull the goku you can go for the vegeta and screw the other two units after that like they're good don't get me wrong they're great i they're love good. them they're good. Uh, i don't i don't they're they're good. yeah they're all they're afterthoughts, afterthoughts brother goku is so damn good it's it's insane so yes yep. spend stones 100 that's it if you do any more then you know me and tiger are coming after you uh and you don't know you don't want to know how well I, I can guarantee you i'm not going to only spend 100. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah yeah we're 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 immune to this it's we're youtubers brother we we always uh we always do, do as i say not as i do, do the content exactly right exactly right uh well i appreciate it man i think um people will hopefully listen to our advice 
Uh, if not, they're going to be crying in our comments anyway, and uh, and tagging us on Twitter. Like, uh, oh. I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just uh, uh, waiting for the backlash about our Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta discussion. Oh, 100%. <laughs> People are already typing right now, furiously, in the comments. <laughs> Uh, while you guys are down there, you might as well hit that blue join button, become a boomer champion like Joe V and Wolverine Gaming. Tiger, I appreciate it. Any last words before we get the hell out of here? Uh, no, man. It was fun again, and I, I knew we were going to have the same opinion. Even though you said, yo, like you didn't you know, see what I said at the end of my video or whatever, but yeah. it was pretty pretty obvious what our conclusion was going to be. Um, the anniversary is coming, guys. Like, just just keep that in the back of your head. If if you need to, like, change your phone wallpaper to MUI Goku, <laughs> and and exactly. if that helps you save, then then do that because um, it doesn't really matter, honestly, what we get between now. I mean, we probably won't get anything else significant until the anniversary, right? But um, yeah, maybe we'll get Tapion, but it's just like, maybe yeah. maybe. But it doesn't really matter what they release, what they try to, you know, uh, bait you with. Just save for the anniversary. 100 for sure i also and, love that uh, i told you we were going to take 15 minutes and we've been talking for almost 40. it's, it's <laughs> it always goes this way man <laughs> it always goes this way but no thanks for having me um i appreciate it and uh good luck on your summons if you guys are planning to summon for uh, for these kids hell yeah uh people go ahead and gently rub that sub button gingerly ring that bell button lovingly kiss the like <laughs> button as always is periodic see y'all in the next video